that the person is 35 through 44, given more likely. Okay, I'm going to stop sharing and also change um, the camera. Okay. So this is the word given. And this is what we call conditional probability. Conditional. It's a condition. Condition, given that. Conditional probability. So this is not a simple probability. Find the probability that I select someone from 35 to 44. No. It's a conditional probability because it has a condition. Given that, the person is more likely. And as we discussed last time, this is a ratio. The ratio at the very top is the intersection of the two, meaning the end. The person is 35 through 44 and also more likely to buy. The denominator is always the probability of the given one. So this is the probability of more. So let's see how we determine these probabilities. So let's start with the easy one. What is the probability of more? Anyone would like to give it a shot? Meaning, I have this, I have the 2,164 adults. What is the probability that I will select from them someone who is more likely to buy a product if it's made in our country? The say say it a little bit louder, Preston. Do you want the rounded number, or do you just want the decimal, how it is? I want to explain how it is done. I do not want any number at this point. No. I just want to explain for everyone to understand how we determine the probability for selecting someone who is more likely to buy a product in our situation. Okay. How did you determine it? So what is it? How did you determine it? I don't want the number yet. I determined it by dividing the total people of the more likely and then dividing it by the grand total. Excellent. 1299 divided by 2164. Great job. So the total for more is 1,299, excellent. The grand total is 2,164. I don't need any number just yet. Now, I would like to determine the numerator. So the numerator for 35 through 44, and at the same time, more likely. How do we determine this? Anyone else? Anyone else who paid attention last time, please? Can you repeat the question you cut out? Yes, yes, yes. I'm sorry. I, I got a message that said that my internet is not stable. So if I get cut off, please wait. I will reboot my system. So the question is now, how do I determine this probability? So let me help with this. So the probability for some, selecting someone that is 35 through 44 in this age group and is more likely is always the intersection so more likely is this row and 35 through 44 is this column that yes sorry um i sorry i accidentally muted myself would you just add the 1299 plus the 5 54 minus the 332, and that's how you would... If this were it. an or, I would have followed that explanation and discuss it. But this is not an or. So remember, okay. only for or. Very good point. So A or B 
is the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A and B if they are non-mutually exclusive. But this is not what we're talking about right now. So let's go back. So the age group, 35 through 44, is this column. The more likely is this row. How many we will find that are in this row and this column at the same time? Just how, one. How many? Three hundred thirty-two. Good. Out of how many? Two thousand one. Excellent. So that's the answer. Three hundred thirty-two divided by two one six four. So now I have the two probabilities that I need, and I can perform the calculations. Notice that these two fractions, this will be a, a, in a denominator and this will be in the numerator. These two fractions have the same denominator. When I flip them, the de that denominator will go away. So I will have 332 divided by 1299. And this, I don't know what they want. We have to look. Um, I'm just looking for my calculator. Never mind. I can use, um, I'm ready with the other one. So I have uh, 332. I have the answer. Very good. OK, I'm ready. Um, do you want to? You want me to read off the whole thing, or do you want to round it to something? Uh, just to give me uh, at least four digits. Okay, it's point two five 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 eight. Perfect. So now let's see what they want, and they want. Uh, what is the probability the visual giver more likely? Okay, uh, round to three decimal places. So where is my keyboard? Here. So three decimal places will be 0 0.256. Three decimal places, 25555, so it's that. Good. Moving on. Part B. What is the probability that a randomly selected individual is more likely to buy a product emphasized given the individual is 35 through 44 years of age? Aha. Notice that this time they're twisting the question. So whatever is in the, or follows the word given, so this part in part B, they want the probability of selecting more likely given that uh, the individual is 35 through 44. And you can say, isn't this the same? No. The numerator will be the same because the probability of this and this or this and this is the same thing. More and in the 35 through 44. It doesn't matter if you read it this way or this way. But the denominator is different. The denominator of this conditional probability will be 35 through 44. So the numerator we already have. We calculated it. It's 332, 332, so that's 332 over 2164. But now the probability of 35 to 44, anyone else who has not said anything yet? I want to hear from Alex, from Ethan, from Sasha, from Mara. I haven't hear, heard from you a long time. So would it be the 554? Because it's the total of 35 to 44? Exactly. The total of 33, 35 to 44, that, yes. And then? Well, would it be still over 2164? Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you very much. So this is 554 divided by 2164. Again, when I flip, these two will go away. 332 over 554. Excellent. Well done. Emily, thank you. Good. So let's get. Yeah, I'm ready. It's a uh, 0.59927. Good. So rounding into three decimal digits because this is two, it's going to be 0.599. I'm assuming they still want three digits. We'll see in a moment. Round to three decimal digits. Okay, 0 0.599. 
Good. Part C. Are 18 to 34 years old more likely to buy a product emphasized as than individuals in general? Uh, so now they are they are looking at 18 to 34. Okay, so let's go back to the table. So part C is asking us to find the probability of 18 through 34. And uh, let's see. Anyone else who has not spoken yet? Alex, are you with us? Yes. Okay, so let's give it a shot. So this time we are asked to find the probability of 18 through 34. Would it be 515 divided by 2,100? Awesome. Excellent. Thank you very much. 515 divided by 2,164. Awesome. That's all I needed. So then I'm going to share my screen and calculate 515. Oh, my keyboard. I wish I could reach my computer, but I can't. Okay. Divided by... Divided by, oops, divided by 2, 1, 6, 4. Okay. It's 0 0.237985. Oops, I didn't mean to, I went, meant to go back to the problem. So, are 18 to 34 years old more likely to buy a product emphasized than individuals in general? So what we need to do at this point is, when they say individual, this is, this is a little bit confusing. Individuals in general. I think in general is probably neither more nor less likely. Maybe. So more likely, so the probability for 18 to 34, but uh, more likely. So more likely and 13 to 34. We also have to determine that. So let me stop sharing just to make sure you understand. So more likely and and 18 through 34. Okay, so the probability of 18 through 34 is this. But in order to determine more likely and 18 to 34, we have 206 over 2164. So the probability for 18 to 34 and more likely, that would be as we said, 206, 2164. The answer for that? Yes, I'm ready. It's uh, 0 0.09519. 5019. Yep. 09519. Um, see, we consider it. Let's go back. Are more likely to buy emphasized. So for more likely, so here 23, th so for less likely, more likely 330, yes. So no. So the other ones for more likely will be 333 over this. For 45 to 54 will be 361 over this. And for 55 plus will be 400 over this. So it's not. Because for the more likely row, uh, the 18 through 34 is the smallest. Look, 206, 332, 361, and 400. So I will say no, it is less likely. If we determine the other probabilities, and we don't have to because they're all divided by um, the same number, right? So it's not. Because as I said, the other ones are bigger. Good. Uh, next problem. 
The data represent a number. Where is the data? Okay, I see it. Represent a number of driving fatalities for a certain area by age for male and female drivers. Let's copy the, the, the table. We can continue without the table. So under 16. Then 16 to 20, 21 through 34, 35 through 54, 55 through 69, and 70 plus. And we have female and male. Two sixty-seven, six two seven nine, one three four five nine, one two five eight nine, five nine five eight, two nine five seven, one thirty-five, two two nine six, four seven, four seven twenty, two three three four, one seven five four. Perfect. What is the probability that randomly selected driver fatality who was male was 16 to 20 years old? Before we even look at any question, what do we have to perform first? What do we have to determine first for this problem? The total? Excellent. The total of yes, the total for row, the total for column for each row and each column and double check the grand total. So after I determine these totals and these totals, I add them up and make sure that they add up to the grand total. So this will be the total for each row and this will be the total for columns. So let's do that. 